Alright guys, uh, I got a new track for you today. It's Luna Insula by Little X Jesus. I'll make sure to put that in the title. He's got a couple of uh, different kind of letters in his name, uh, like disease and everything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to be using the Phoenix Evo 250cc for this track, as it's kind of a, uh, a more scenic track. You don't get much speed out of it, but it's got a really nice flow to it, which I will go on to later. So I'm going to jump into Overlook straight away. As you can see, as I start the track, even as a countdown, you can see how much detail he's actually put into it. Like all the little things around, it, it just looks absolutely insane. The colours with it, the, the background is absolutely amazing. He's put everything supported, there's nothing floating, nothing by itself. Uh, it does look absolutely amazing. So Overlook, so I'm going to give a 5 out of 5 straight away. Uh, for physics, I don't actually see any physics in this track, except for visual physics. Um, there's no physics which really in a track which affect your racing, um, so I'm not going to rate the physics uh, and I'll leave it blank. For idea, it's a really nice idea. There's no kind of there's no theme to it. It's just a kind of nice dark night which is going through kind of the countryside kind of thing for a castle I think up ahead. Uh, but what he's made with it, what he's done with it, the little things which he's made, some really nice ideas in the track. Uh, and it, it does look absolutely awesome. So idea, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Based, the fact that it's not based on idea, but he's, he's made it look really nice as, as it is. The complexity, based on the uh, the amount of detail he's actually put into it, uh, and the smoothness and flow behind it, he's obviously put a lot of time into making it such a nice flowing track. Uh, and the detail behind it he's put a lot of time into also uh, is absolutely amazing. So the complexity, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. For smoothness and flow, as you just saw there, you can get a really nice quick time, even though it's like a, a slightly medium length track. Uh, it's really nice flow, you can jump, like go into each ramp kind of nicely. And there's also uh, a different kind of variation, you can go to the start, a different route you can take, which I'm about to show you. I, cut, I, I muck it up a couple of times, um, but I do want to show you properly how it's done. Uh, so this is why I did this last little bit, and it gets an insane flow. This is, uh, this is how you see the number one time being done if you do it this way. So uh, yeah, so smoothness and flow, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 also. So overall, based on the amount of detail he's put in, the amount of flow he's put in, the amount of time and effort he's put into this track, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. It's an awesome track, make sure you go and download it and try and beat my time actually, I think I got quite a decent time. Uh, so there you go guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as usual, if you're not already subscribed please do. And please tell uh, tell your friends about me, if you've got any friends that play Trials Evolution, uh, like, give me a shout out, uh, I do need some help to get a few more subscribers to uh, if you think I deserve to get a few more views, and, and please help me out, that would be awesome. So uh, there you go guys, I'll make sure to try and upload, upload one tomorrow, I'm not too sure about tomorrow because I've got a few things to do. Uh, so there you go guys, thanks for listening, if you've listened all the way to the end, you should be able to see the picture right now which I normally put up. <laughs> but there, there you go guys, uh, I'll try and get to you tomorrow, if not I'll speak to you the next day. <laughs> see you later guys.